So, picking a domain name. Uh, picking a domain name is definitely an art. There's a lot of different ways to do it. There's a really cool way that I like to choose names, and it's with this sort of uh, this sort of industry that's popped up called domain name generators or Web 2.0 name generators. Um, there's a lot of them. It's kind of overdone, but it's kind of a cool way to get thinking about it at least. So this is a really cool one. It's called suggest.name. And uh, so I like to take, you can basically mix and mash up content you give it with uh, a bunch of different words it has and, and check the results. So if I were to type in app, let's say, as the prefix, and then it gives me a ton of different suffixes here. So we'll start with boats, right? And we can combine them here. And anything that we'd like, we can add to our list. So app boat, app craft, app ferry, maybe app trawler. That's kind of cool. And then we'll go to bugs, right? So app ant, app bug, app fly, app hopper, app mantis, app wasp. That's kind of cool. Cash, maybe? App coin, app funds, and charts, app chart, app graph, app map. That's cool. So we just sort of get a lot of different ideas. Maybe any of these words that you like, you can click um, and add them. And then what you, can, what you can do is go in and hit check, and it'll take you to Dotster and it'll check whether or not the domains are available and you can set the domain extension which is really cool. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of luck with Dotster. They um it's been saying dom domains are reserved when they're actually not. So, um I like to go in and just grab all these. Yes, yeah, so it usually yeah, it's been saying they're all taken and sometimes they're not. So if you just go to Google type in bulk domain check there's a couple of tools that'll do it, but DomainTools.com is a good one. So again, we copied all these, so we can just paste them all in, hit submit, and it'll show us what's available. So right, AppFairy.com is available. Um, we can buy other domain extensions if we want. But again, this is just one way to sort of get your head around um, possible domains.